Hello everyone, Sean here, and it's that time of the, the the month again. It's right at the end of November, so that means another channel update slash vlog. As always, I like to talk about what we did in November and uh, what we're uh, probably going to do in December and stuff like that and all that in between. So, um, you know, usually I talk about my real life stuff and what have you. So now I like to start things off with uh, hopefully everyone's Thanksgiving was a happy one. Um, given the situation of the pandemic of things, sorry the, if the mic is picking up the vibration. Um, <laughs> I hope hopefully everyone's you know Thanksgiving with the given situation, um, you know, you guys were able to make the best of it, right? Um, at least here in the states, obviously no one else um, in the world celebrates it, you know. But um, we Americans try to do our best to just uh, make the best of it right for this year and hopefully next year won't be so much like that well anyway um i uh my my was okay you know nothing really to complain about i just had to deal with my mom we didn't have turkey we had shabu shabu or hot pot basically japanese hot pot um that's my favorite dish so i'm not complaining about that and um, that's pretty much the gist of it. I just all that's all I did. Um, it was a very relaxing day, no work or nothing, so nothing for me to complain about really. Um, so I'm very thankful for that to even you know just just to have that much you know um, in my day, <laughs> just to be able to relax and stuff. Um, you know I'm definitely feel lucky. Especially this year to be given that. Uh, so anywho, that was my Thanksgiving, right? But um, pretty much, you know, November, given things, of course. Didn't do much in real life other than my usual, like, working out, you know, uh, work here and there, right, at the warehouse. And, um, uh, of course, been doing stuff for my other job, um, which... So basically, for those who don't know already, um, I am working with Panda Global, which is the esports team that sponsors. Um, that's actually well known to be part of like the FGC side of things, um, including Street Fighter, of course, Smash, right, and um, and so on and so forth, right. Um, I think they've also have other stuff going on, right, but um, they're mainly known for their fighting game stuff. So. Uh, I was picked up by them pretty much and I'm now working with them to make uh, help make them videos on their channel uh, you know uh, Panda Global Gaming uh, YouTube channel so be sure to check out Panda Global Gaming they got some great stuff on there um, so some of them are mine um, there are a lot of other uh, editors that do a lot of uh, hard work and stuff and they definitely uh, put out some great stuff as well you know they're pretty much in the same position as me and so uh, we're all together to make some great content uh, for, for um, the viewers and um, you know my contribution so far has been really um, pretty prominent um, I must say you know um, one of the videos that I worked on um garnish like over 100k views which is like mind-blowing right the managers and stuff like that were really impressed so um i'm pretty happy for myself on that part really cool um so uh pretty stoked about that so I, i'm working with them so far has been a, a great experience um we have a discord and stuff like that to kind of help make things uh, all happen right in in a very organized way you know if there are any like problems or anything like that we help each other out you know i had mine and um another fellow editor was able to sort of help me out in a way with just this intro you know th in this one video right and then it was just like it, it seemed like relatively simple but very helpful and it just all happened in that discord so very great sense of like teamwork and just helping out each other so hope to um you know um you know we're, i'm hoping to work on more stuff for them or with them and um you know i i just want to help them out with putting up more content on their youtube channel as a freelance editor so um very been very happy with that um i'm just 
you know, doing something that's actually pertaining to my career, which is vi video editing. So, very awesome. Such a great timing to, you know, not to mention I got the new computer, right? The new iMac um, coming in right as I was starting my new job and stuff like that. Um, great stuff so far, you know, again, and uh, for this month, um, you know, uh, I've had some interesting challenges such as, you know, trying to, um, these videos are out so I can talk about it, right? So I had to work with videos that involve with Japanese players. So uh, you can see where that's going, right? So as someone who understands, um, a, you know, a pretty good degree of Japanese, um, especially when it comes to like gaming side of things, I know you know enough to get the premise. Um, that's pretty much works for how we do things uh, when we deliver the Japanese player side of things for, for their Panda Global team, and um, you know which means uh, I was able to work on the Prince video, right? And I was able to work on. The, the one of the Dragon Ball Fighters videos involving with Bon Bon um, and his friend, right? Uh, they were trying to do the um, the Shenron challenge or Goichi challenge along with Hokkien God in the video, which was really funny, right? <laughs> you know, on his side of things. So it was great, um, a challenge working on those videos because of the subtitles, right? How to you know place them right consistently and just. Uh, having to look up some Japanese gaming lingo that they use in Japan, right? So it was actually really interesting for me to like learn on things as well. So uh, I guess you can in a way say that my Japanese on the gamer side of things sort of sort of uh, leveled up. So it's only you know this this um, gig so far has only only been helpful to me. Um, I've been somewhat incorporating that sort of learning. Uh, on this channel somewhat slowly but surely and um, hopefully I can like apply more of that into these videos in the future you may see some of that but more for the most part you know it's me you know what I mean so I, free reign from me you know what I mean but I will somehow incorporate some of the things I've learned so far hopefully in the future videos so that job has been great um, Hopefully, you know, again, uh, I look forward to more projects in the coming future. So, um, you know, I'm still doing videos so far and um, <laughs> it's been it's been a fun experience so far. All right. So anyway, so when it comes to stuff that I bought, you know, continuing with the real life stuff, um, I was able to fortunately and lucky enough uh, get myself the PlayStation 5. I've already done a video about it um, with me, you know, opening it, right, unboxing it, and also just talking about it in general with my uh, early thoughts and stuff like that review. And uh, so far, you know, now, even now, it's been treating me pretty good. Um, I've been playing uh, Cold War on it, but also, like, some of the PlayStation 4 games. But right now, um, I've been playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. And that's been uh, really fun so far. I do like the whole turn-based RPG thing. I really never thought that this would work, right? Especially, I was super skeptical, like, in the beginning of its announcement, right? That it was going to be turn-based, you know, based off of a April Fool's joke, really, which is really funny. But um, I think it's I think it's great. I think it's just, like, really making fun of the whole, like, traditional JRPG side of things. Um, they even like make references to Dragon Quest a whole lot um, so far in my experience anyway. I've played like uh, several hours, like maybe like the first like five hours, ten hours, something like that at the very most. But I'm on, I'm definitely on the uh, tip of the iceberg. I'm, I want to play more tonight <laughs> as I record this. But um, I played it once for my, you know, Twitch stream, which is, you know, on uh, twitch.tv slash hawk525. <laughs> um, and it's been a fun experience. I do like it. I do like the new characters. Um, I, I love just everything so far. It's been a good experience. So um, based off of what pe other people have been saying, if you love Yakuza games, if you love Tembrace RPGs, definitely pick it up. It's really fun. It's really, f it's really silly. And it's only going to get silly for me. But if you like those silly games, by all means, go for it. Um, it's it's just only going to be pure adrenaline fun. 
even with this turn-based nature of things. So um, <laughs> I'm definitely wanting to uh, get more tonight um, in my gaming hours. But uh, yeah, so the PlayStation 5 itself, you know, just briefly here, um, been treating me pretty well. I uh, haven't seen like any big problems, right? Uh, that some people may have. Hopefully those are just isolated um, incidences. And uh, I think really the biggest takeaway from all this, like the biggest like exciting gimmick, right? From the PlayStation 5 are the controllers, you know, with the adaptive triggers and the haptic feedback, the whole, that whole shindig um, has been really exciting because it's such, it's um, definitely new. Well, something new for the controller. It's not so much new for the, um, <laughs> the technology itself which is just um, ha um, haptic feedback, which has always been in phones, but my dog is here. Oh, <laughs> hold on, my dog is here. Say hello to my dog. This is my Marine. <laughs> she um, loves my bed, so she, she wants uh, attention, so I'm just gonna try to give her attention while I do this. But anyway, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the PlayStation 5 with the haptic feedback has been great, it's been, uh, really beefy too, um, and comparing to like normal vibrations, right? Um, I do love it, and um, you know, it's uh, something so it's it's so beneficial, I guess, to the controller. Like, you know, why ha why hasn't this been done already, right? I guess they were really trying to save it for the new um, this generation, and I think that was pretty much like the best move they could have done for um, new generation. Otherwise, really, um, it's. Uh, there's really nothing else like super like outstanding or exciting uh, for this new generation other than oh ray tracing graphics and all this stuff right um, teraflops whatever right and uh, <laughs> man she really wants her back rub there's really nothing else like to that right it's just it's just an upgrade it's like you know it's like upgrading your phone but um, a big upgrade obviously but you know nothing really sort of stands out. Uh, other things like the design, like the actual exterior design is cool. It's a um, nice little conversation piece amongst other people, right? Uh, once the, especially once the pandemic goes down, you know, you have people coming in the house and they see this thing, it's like, whoa, you know, it does definitely stand out from the rest um, in comparison, especially with the Xbox. When it's just a, like this rectangular box, you know, literally, it's, it's literally just a box, right? That stands up, right? Which is um pretty funny, uh, but yeah, um, very very lucky because you know um, all the scalpers and stuff like that. That situation's been really crazy. It's like something that um, I'm I I don't like seeing. I can't stand it. You know, what I mean, all this news about scalping and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's been nuts um, this time around too because. More and more people are just using bots, and those bots are just instantly buying off stock and all that stuff. You know, when it comes to PlayStation Fives, and um, it's been just nutty. Um, it's gonna make things a lot harder for people to buy the PlayStation Fives for the holidays. You know, for their kids, and you know, um, a good handful of people won't have those PlayStation Fives because of the scalpers. So, um, just absolutely not okay in my book. And, um, man, she really wants the attention. You know, those scalpers, man, I hope they, they I hope they face justice. I hope they, uh, you know, I hope karma serves them well, you know. Uh, it seems to be happening somewhat here and there, like, oh, some scalpers got robbed in Canada. Oh, um, you know, you know, these people are stuck with this, um, with their inventory and stuff like that, right? No one's buying theirs. Right, because there's so many people doing it too, so it's like, ugh. And then there's that one company that's um, based in the UK, I think, and they're dedicated to just scalping products. So ugh, that thing just, those things just really tick me off. And um, I hope, you know, the uh, companies like Sony and Nintendo and stuff like that uh, start to pick up on these things and hopefully get around uh, scalping with the bots, right, somehow. Reduce it at least because there's always gonna be scalping, you know, just like there's always gonna be hacking of sorts You know, what I mean no matter what kind of perimeters you set up what kind of walls you set up There's always gonna be people going around it right somehow. So 
it's just good to at least focus on reduction rather than just total prevention, right? That's just the more realistic side of things. But anyway, um, hopefully, um, you know, uh, people can pick up those uh, PlayStation 5s. And, and of course, the Xbox Series Xs, um, hopefully, uh, they can pick those up by the holidays, right? So, um, hope to see that happening. But uh, anyway, um, other things that I bought or whatever, anything else that happened in real life. Um, I went ahead and bought myself some SSDs. Uh, I bought two of them. Uh, one is one terabyte, the other one is two terabytes, right? And they're both pretty much gonna be used. One for my, uh, for um, Panda Global, right? The, my freelance side of things. And um, also uh, myself, like my, for my channel. So um, I think uh, it's been treating me really well. Uh, those, those SSDs, man, they, definitely are great for editing um i think more and more people should pick them up so that way you know the prices go down right the demand uh and goes up right so naturally hopefully the net uh the, the prices will adjust for the better you know because pretty much one terabyte right now is like a 100 bucks on average so uh hopefully we can reduce that down to like like 25 percent and eventually 50 percent like right now you can get yourself a 10 terabyte hard drive external hard drive for like under 200 bucks which is like a lot of space you know what i mean so um <laughs> or even 12 like it's, it's crazy you know and just one terabyte of the ssd can just um cost well over 100 bucks depending on what kind of uh, ssd you get you know the one that spins at uh, 500 uh, megabytes per second or one that spins at one gigabyte per second depending on how, how what kind of speed you're getting or you're looking for you know my mine which is just 550 something right um, already is like really quick for me too so you know I think those are gonna be good enough for right now but you know there's always gonna be upgrades there's gonna be only gonna be more um, I, I've been really tempted to try to get myself like um a four terabyte one and just pay it off with credit but um <laughs> you know uh just wanted to kind of dip my foot in for right now and just with the with the one terabyte and two terabyte one that i have right separately and um yeah man it's been serving me pretty well so i i know now for sure that ssd definitely work well for um for editing so oh well my dog wants to get out so hold on all right, so where was I? Oh yeah, so yeah, so I bought the SSDs. Uh, anything else? Um, well, not so much. Um, so actually, there was one thing that in real life I could, I guess, talk about uh, for realsies, which is, um, you know, I hung out with my friends uh, not too long ago. Uh, we had a friend coming in from uh, Minnesota. Uh, he used to live here in Cali, but he moved there. But then he came back here to visit his family uh, for Thanksgiving, but before that, we, uh, hung out for a little bit, um, of course, you know, taking precautions, and, um, it was great seeing him again, you know, um, we just hung out at Adam's place, and, um, you know, sh uh, shoot the shit, you know, that sort of thing, just chill vibe, you know what I mean, like, um, it was a nice, relaxing little, little get-together, and, uh, glad we got to see him, and uh so yeah um we got some tacos right uh bidia i think i believe it was called um pretty good it's basically like almost like a mexican french dip if that makes sense or mexican dip right for those who have french dip you know what i'm talking about you know you dip the thing in the soup and you eat it right um or you you just get a spoon pour the soup into the meat of the taco and then uh have at it Really good. Um, I would like to tr get more of that uh, sometime down the road. Um, once everything kind of settles down, right? With the lockdown and everything. But um, I would, man, th th those tacos were pretty, pretty freaking good, I must say. And you know, on top of that, we had our friend, you know, coming over from the, from Minnesota and, and we were able to, you know, um, have a little, have a little uh, hangout, so. So that was cool. Let's see. Uh, when it comes to other games I've been playing, uh, besides Yakuza Like a Dragon or AKA Yakuza 7, I've been playing Genshin Impact still. I played the, the uh, that one event with the stars or whatever, right? Stars above the sky or 
Rick Council Stars, whatever you call it. There's the one with official in it, right? Uh, you can get your free official once you complete some of the uh, achievements or whatever. And uh, I got my third official, so or Constellation 3 official, so she's pretty strong. <laughs> she's pretty beefy. Um, I mean, I mean, of course, she's still a glass cannon, but uh, a, a beefy glass cannon, I guess, for mine anyway. And um, her, so, the, so now her, the Knight Rider thing or whatever, is like leveled up by these many points or whatever, right? For her third constellation, I believe. So, been pretty cool. Or I think she's constellation two, because uh, it starts from zero. I don't know. Anyway, so that's so that was fun. Uh, you know, trying to get all the stuff and stuff like that. I pretty much like cleaned up shop, right? So I'm pretty much done with the event. And so uh, I'm just gonna uh, just gather as much Primo Gems as much as I can before the Zongli banner drops down. So maybe I'll make a video about that. We'll see about that. I don't know, maybe I'll stream it. Um, that'll be pretty fun. Uh, let's see, anything else um, besides Genshin Impact? Um, you know, just my usual mobile games, right? You know, Fade Grand Order somewhat. Uh, Azure Lane, I've been kind of on that right now because the Dead or Alive event is up. Um, Epic Seven, been logging into it, doing the dailies, and that's pretty much it on the top of my head. Uh, oh yeah, and then there's Cold War, of course, for Call of Duty. Um, been doing some online here and there. I finished a campaign mode, so I'll probably do a review of sorts, like a quick review for December, right? Uh, just real quick, just, you know, kind of want to get my basic thoughts out there. Um, it's really not much to like significantly talk about. It's just like, oh, this and this and that, you know, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's perfect for a quick review sort of, sort of style. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. But other than that, um, I think that's pretty much it for what we did for October when it comes to like uh, real life stuff and what games I've been playing and what stuff I got, you know, so sort of thing so far. Oh yeah, Black Friday, didn't do much. Cyber Monday, probably not gonna do the same either. I already got my stuff that I, I, I got, like the SSDs. You know what I mean? So, uh, oh, and the PlayStation 5, look, very, very lucky on that. Uh, I even forgot to mention, I got the charging dock and the extra controller uh, for myself. So, very, very pretty pleased with that and uh, <laughs> pretty grateful, um, honestly. Like, it's been crazy with the scalping. So, um, yeah, just high demand, low supply. That's what happens, man. This, that is the nature of things. I mean, even even if the supply is there, probably the bots will buy it all. Ugh, I, I don't like that thought. What we did for the channel, I'm trying to look at the uh, monitor over there. Um, <laughs> I uh, what, what we did for the channel was some Ghost of Tsushima stuff, right? Um, pretty basic stuff, uh, and, but fun, you know? And um, uh, we did a hype cast, of course. Um, well, two hype casts, right? Ideally, that's what we did. Uh, I talked about the game awards, you know, with my predictions and stuff like that. Please check that out. Um, really appreciate it. And the which uh, I uh, I think I, yeah, I released a Z Guard video. Just me and uh, some uh, some of my. My streamer, uh, stream viewers, um, absolutely destroying Zegard. But the journey getting there was just um, absolutely a challenge. But once we got there, that luck, man. Oh man, uh, check it out. And, and also just a, a VOD, a Twitch VOD of Yakuza Like a Dragon, released that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, this month, right? Uh, for when it comes to my YouTube channel. So, um, Definitely going to try to do a reaction video for uh, Game Awards. I'm probably gonna likely react it with friends. Uh, you may you may hear some old voices, right, uh, from other videos. So looking forward to that. Uh, gonna have another um, Pokemon Short Sword and Shield video involving the the um, Crown, Crown Tundra stuff, right. Um, that's gonna be a fun one. And then I'm gonna have uh, right away a nut so a challenge video of sorts you'll get to uh kind of find out yourself soonish right hopefully i'll come out soon and uh so yeah and then you know the rest of it will just be some spontaneous stuff um i do want to um try to uh get my hands on cyberpunk as fast as i can right uh and it's coming out hopefully this month or uh in december without getting delayed again but we'll see about that 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think it's um, I think it's the final final day. It's all set in stone, I think, right? I'm um, but <laughs> if it happens again, oh boy, oh boy, it's gonna get ugly. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully that won't happen. Uh, so. Hopefully, uh, I get get my hands on Cyberpunk uh, that month or December, so that way I can do my review on that. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. You know, like I said, it's gonna the rest of the videos for next month are all spontaneous. Um, the rest of them anyway. And uh, so yeah, um, hopefully uh, this hopefully this video comes out by Monday ish. So hopefully everyone has a a good Cyber Monday. This hasn't come out or before or after anyway if hopefully anyone has a good type of monday i know hopefully uh you know you guys like get your pc parts and stuff like that that's like supposedly the right time to get it right but um given the uh, graphics cards right what's going on with those oof also been pretty ugly for scalping right so there's that but that is the nature of the holidays, right? With these high demand electronics and parts and all that stuff. It can get ugly. Especially with this year. I think that's really what's also multiplying and amplifying that factor. But anyway, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I, th I think I've been saying hopefully a lot, but sorry about that. Anyways, uh, please like and subscribe for the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for all, um, notify all. That is definitely how you get to know when these videos come out and then all that fun stuff. So I really appreciate it guys. If you have any like ideas or anything of the sort uh, related to this channel, um, please leave them down below. Um, always will take note of that and maybe I'll incorporate that for a future video or whatever. Feel free to do that. And uh, yeah, so uh, happy holidays and stuff like that. It's coming up and I'll probably say that again once we, um, you know, uh, make another video or something like that. So anyways, um, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out.